Amani na Baraka, Swahili for peace and blessings. Welcome to episode 57 of the Chocolate Sunshine docuseries. So happy to have you with us on this edition. I want to thank you for rolling with us, for riding with us through the year 2023. 2023 was a year of manifestation for me. So I was able to manifest uh, Black Joy Galaxy, the launch party uh, hosted by the awesome Patty Jackson was so memorable for me. Uh, it's, a, it's a monumental moment. Man, I manifested the manifestation of that uh, that particular moment has inspired me to you know push ahead to put forth the full film project. Mr. Derek Pitts, Yanina Carter, the end, the CSN family with Twana Lee, and of course the amazing Carol Sims Nesmith, Brother Kyle Moore, P.D. Evans, the whole crew. I want to thank the, the teachers, the educators who um, jumped in to you know do parts of the of the you know of the pre um, the pre production of the film. And speaking of the pre-production of the film, this episode is really all about how I am looking to frame the narrative of this film. It's important to utilize the resources that are available now. For me, that um, in particular, that is particularly the use of uh, Mid Journey and Eleven Labs. Mid Journey allowed me the, the expansion to be able to put the actual visual imagery that I want this film to look like. It allowed me to actually create that, to, to manifest that creation. Um, when I went into, I initially started working with Discord and, uh, Discord and Mid Journey, I was having, I was trying to put the imagery together, but the images were coming out kind of like wonky. They weren't really representing what I want, wanted the film to actually look like. Um, and so I did some research. I went to a few seminars and what I discovered was there is a specific way that you have to type in the prompts for your various images. So uh, being able to enter, you know, when you're using Discord, uh, one of the prompts, the, the main prompt that you use when you get ready to, you know, design or create uh, an image is, you know, you have to hit backslash and then imagine. So what I did after coming into the knowledge of this is the way you're supposed to do it was I was able to begin to add in the various cameras, uh, the various lens, the types of lenses that I wanted to use, uh, the types of uplighting, um, the types of um, coloration, it all goes into the prompt. You have to create the narrative. And that's going to be the lasting, the lasting, uh, or the grounding of this whole project is creating the narrative. First of all, the Black Joy Galaxy is all, is, is all about creating the narrative of what could be. That's how this whole project started out, is being able to take control of the narrative. Uh, let me get back to the Discord and Eleven Labs. So once I really got the prompts, how to enter the prompts together, once I got that, I started to notice that the images that I wanted to, that I was trying to create, really began representing what I wanted this film to look like. And then I took it a step further. I wanted to add some dynamic, dynamic, robust dialogue. That's what this Black Joy Galaxy is all about. This, this robust dialogue that's centered, you know, it's, it's, it's centered in like learning theories, it's centered in sociological theories, it's centered in psychological theories, socio-psychological socio theories. And it's all grounded in um, environmental science and critical race. That's, you know, let's just get down to the point. Let me just get down to, to, to what it really is. That's what that's what's really happening here in this Black Joy Galaxy story. So what I did was, uh, upon further research, I was able to select the various voices that match the images. So I wanted to get 
the imagery, right? So I was able to capture that in Discord. Then I took a step further. I wanted to make sure that what I was looking at in terms of the image, I wanted to make sure that the voices were all synced. Ultimately, what I ended up doing, what the ancestors allowed me to create was a clear, concise, succinct imagery and overall gist of what I want this film to look like. So what does that look like for me? That looks like me being able to take the content that I've created using these, these you know, AI resources and being able to pitch it to any producer, pitch it to any film company, pitch it to any would-be investor and have them look at these particular, we, I call them the AI episodes, um, AI audio cast, the AI audio cast and say, this is what's going on with this film. They're telling the story that this story is now being told or this pitch, like you're pitching this film, the AI characters are actually pitching this film. So, you know, the, the, the topic, the you know subject matter of 2099 is already sort of kind of, when you start talking about future and as it relates to, you know, black and brown beans, we have such, you know, we're such, we're so underrepresented in that particular genre until there's a tendency to kind of like, you know, when you talk to people about it, they kind of like trade, you know, like kind of like drift off. But now, the way that this content is being presented, it's undeniable. You see it, you know it, you get it. It's all about shaping the narrative, especially when you're talking about a film of this particular magnitude. You have to shape the narrative um, for the film and for the culture, all right? For the film and for the culture. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you here is what this all looks like when you put it together. This is what it looks like when you put it all together. So without further ado, check these two uh, pieces of content out. And on the other side, we'll come back, we'll chit chat about it. And uh, yeah, check this out. Amidst a cosmic battle against a white supremacist space regime, a heartbroken black cyberspace pilot must avenge the brutal murders of his wife and newborn daughter, while a colony of Philadelphia scientists seek refuge and new beginnings on exoplanet Kepler 22b in a race against time on New Year's Eve 2099. Welcome to the Black Joy Galaxy. And if you're watching this video, you know you didn't make it. This is a GBC breaking news update. Investigators have made yet another gruesome discovery about the region of the planet, once known as America. Here's Hadif Shiloh with more details. Hadif? Thank you, Esmeralda. I should caution our viewers and listeners that what I am about to share is highly disturbing, and many may find it unbearable to hear. Wow. Okay. So now you see, all right? That's the way that there's so many different ways you can utilize these AI tools. This particular, you know, this particular format works well for me in terms of this helps me, you know, when I want to pitch it to uh, the would-be actor for a part. Now they can actually see what's going on. They can actually get a sense and a feel and be like, oh man, okay, I, I see what you're saying, all right? And the same will hold true if I, like I said earlier, if I was going to pitch it to a, f a film director or a film company, they get what is happening because I have shaped the narrative. 2024, I'm looking to be intentional about actualization. 2023 was all about manifestation. You're manifesting these these awesome Tay Tay Milky Way song, Chocolate Sunshine song, the Black Joy Galaxy lunch party. It's manifested. Now you want to actualize. You want to actually see and actually feel what that success feels like. You actually want to actualize seeing that that film at the Martha, uh, Martha Vineyard's 
um, film festival, at the Black Star Film Festival. You want to actually put that in motion to have that happen and, and enjoy it and vibe with it in real time, in real time. You see what I'm saying? So manifestation moves into actualization, okay? Thank you so very much for joining us for this edition. This month of uh, December has been one of those uh, one of those tough months for you know health wise for for my family and uh, my loved ones. We have uh, so many beautiful people who transition throughout the month of December, and so we're just so thankful, so thankful that uh, you are here, we are here, uh, and that. Uh, the ancestors have given me this awesome mantle of being able to create stories, um, to create content, and to uh, create music that vibrates, that educates, and that celebrates the goodness of what is the thing that we call the Black Joy Galaxy. Right? All right. So listen, until the next you and I meet, my goodness, keep your mindset global. Keep your love universal, and by all means, you know what it is, stay vivified.